Okay guys, to do Cura, you need to go to the ultimaker.com site because they're the people that make Cura. And from there, if you haven't already, upgrade your software. So go into software. From there you go in there. Uh, go into Cura. And from Cura you go download for free. And from there you can pick which version you want now. The XE is one that you load um, just by double clicking on it. And this is a file, it's like a the old CD file, so it's a packed file. So if you don't know how to do them, get the XE. And it will download for you. And then you just need to load it on your computer. So once it's loaded, open it up. Okay, so once it's open, what you want to do is make sure you have supports turned off. So we go right down the bottom. And it will have supports. Uh, well, we don't want a brim on it either. So I'll turn off brim, and we will turn off supports up the top here. Get rid of that. Okay. So once you've gotten rid of that, then you need to come up to the top here where it's got extensions. And from extensions, you've got auto towers. And from auto towers, you can do all these things down here. And right down the bottom we've got our temperature towers so we just pick our temperature towers and pick which one you have which you've got PLA or PLA plus or PET G or TPU or whatever you want from there or do PLA and boom it'll do a tower now you don't have a choice in this as to what temperature do it from but it's going to do it from not like that 230 to 280 so it's decided that that is the range for PLA okay and then from there you just slice it and print it cool so that's it for cure it's not very hard okay so when your temp tower is finished you'll get a little tower something like this so I've stopped it before it's finished but you get the idea of what's going on so just go into close up mode so you'll see the different temperatures that it's printed at and then you've got um, these little spot th um, spike things which will show you how the spikes print and then you've got the overhangs to show you how the overhangs print but you'll be wanting to look at them this way yeah you can see that this at two the 230 overhang is drooping a little bit more than some of the ones up here so I would say probably the 215 is the best overhang just underneath the top there 220 is not bad but it's not as good as 215 but you can also have a look under here where the um, circles are you can see the overhangs there and how it, it joins up the circles so that's what you want to be looking for I can't really notice that much so I use one of these <laughs> it's got a little light on it and I shine it on and I have a look through that way um, but you can pick up the big differences between what's in the um, what sort of print they are now what I'm using here this camera is the Neb new nebula, nebula camera I'll show you from that does all my close-ups so this is a new nebula, ca nebula camera that Creality's just released and what you can do is you can set the focus so you can do um, the distance focus or close-up so I got it to set to close-up that's what was blurry when it started when I brought it close-up you can see it so this is going to be my little close-up camera they cost hardly anything I think that's what, um, 50 bucks or something 50 Australian dollars something like that um, for the camera and the stand and I'm just using this as uh, plugged straight into my laptop which yeah, sits up there so I just plug straight into my laptop and I've just attached it as another camera now what I've, I've ordered another two because I like it so much I thought well shit, that's a bargain for the price and I'm going to put one on my KE that's coming in the next um, couple of days. I'll show you, should he be, be here tomorrow maybe? Um, and I got a Hallett Marge Pro coming that will also fit directly onto the printer. And you can just monitor and, and do time lapses and all that sort of stuff um, for that. So that's what I've done. So this is the temp tower. Now, what you do once the temp tower tells you what setting you want I'll just um we'll just go into the program and show you how to change it in there 
Okay, so in Cura you're going to look like this. You come up to the top here where it's got uh, your filament name. Mine's generic PLA at the moment. Click the down arrow. You'll get this. From here you click on the arrow again. And scroll right down the bottom and you've got Manage Materials. We'll come into this screen. We want to go Create New because we want to create a new filament um, settings. Go in here, create now, yeah. and this will ask us if I've made some changes in here. Do you want them to, to be transferred over into your new filament? So I'm going to say keep changes, so all my settings change across. Now, up the top here, it's got custom names, so I'm going to call it um, here is PLA again. <coughs> so I better make sure it um, says exactly what it is. So you want to differentiate right down to exactly what it is. So it's Gary's PLA and I'll probably say it's Creality or whatever. Or maybe I'll just put it Creality's PLA. From there you go into print settings. Here's the temperature. Just change that to 215. And then what you'll see is you've got Customs Gary's PLA there. Cool. So when you hop out, you don't need to save it. It's already saved. Okay, so when you hop out, you come into here, there, you'll see that it's under, it'll, they'll all be under custom, because it's a custom one, there's your PLA, and there's my little one right there. It's asking once again if you want to keep those changes, yes I do, and there you go, it's going to use that um, filament setting for, until you change it again. So guys, once again, if you haven't liked and subscribed, um, please like and subscribe. Uh, more the subscription than the like, although likes do help get it out there and get it on the thing. Thanks guys, hope it helped. Okay guys, thanks for watching, I really do appreciate the support. You might like one of these, or one of these <laughs> videos um, that I've made in the past, so feel free. <laughs> okay, thanks guys, bye.